Upgrades will soon be coming to Five Rocks Amphitheater in Gehring. KNEV.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEV.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEV.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, officials with the city of Gehring are working on a plan to secure funding for the first part of a two or three phase project to provide upgrades to Five Rocks Amphitheater. The county's tourism committee last week recommended that the county board approve a $100,000 grant from the Lodging Capital Improvement Fund, which would cover close to half of the estimated cost. Gehring City Engineer Annie Folk explained the primary goal of the project is gaining more robust ADA compliance at the facility. For ADA, we're supposed to have fully accommodating paths to every portion of an event. So that's to ADA, from the parking, to the seating, to the bathrooms, to the food trucks. All of it has to be tied together so that people can get there safely, so that if we're not excluding people, whether it's during graduation or Oregon Trail Days or any of those other events, we need to make sure that we're accommodating anyone who might want to attend. And right now we don't have that. The first phase would also provide enough hard surfacing to host food trucks at events and additional phases would incorporate fully accessible ADA parking and drop-off pickup areas. County commissioners expressed support for the plan but rejected the initial funding recommendation asking tourism and city officials to first seek private sector buy-in and then come back at a future meeting for further consideration. Well, it was not an ideal opening weekend for the Gearing Swimming Pool, as they announced on Sunday they will be closed until further notice for unforeseen maintenance needs. Parks and Rec's director Amy Seiler says the city knows how much everyone enjoys the pool and they're working diligently to address the issue and reopen as soon as possible. We absolutely love our pool and our community members have loved it for almost 50 years. But it's an aging structure and we've had to invest a lot of money into repairs of just cracks in the pool, repainting. A lot of our piping has um, decayed over time. The City of Gehring also has a input survey online that the public is asked to fill out so leadership knows how much of a priority the Gehring swimming pool is. And so we're needing to make some big improvements and we need to hear from our community members how further they want us to invest in our existing structure versus maybe investigating down the road, maybe well down the road, what a pool, what kind of pool they may want to look at. A link to the survey can be found by finding this story online at KNEB.com. We'll have more news right after this. Looking for free instead of fees? Platte Valley Bank can help you keep your finances moving forward with no ATM fees. Whether you're headed to the lake, the mountains, or just to the grocery store, you can enjoy the freedom of free ATM access anywhere, anytime. Platte Valley Bank. You belong here. Welcome back. Sentencing will be next month after a Scottsbluff woman accused of embezzling thousands of dollars from a girls softball club entered a plea deal on amended charges. 
Heather Paez appeared in Scottsdale County District Court Thursday morning, entering a no contest plea to theft by unlawful taking between $500 to $1,500, which is a Class 1 misdemeanor, which was reduced from a Class 2A felony charge of theft by unlawful taking more than $5,000. Paez had been accused of using funds of the Broadway bombers to make a string of personal purchases, which exceeded $10,000 between 2018 and 2022. In the agreement, Paez would not request a deferred sentence and agreed to pay nearly $11,800 in restitution to the softball organization 308 United. And in exchange, the state said while it would not recommend probation, it would not object if that's the order of the court. Well, a shattered man is the second person to claim a top prize in the Nebraska Lottery's Trucks and Bucks scratch game. On Wednesday, Billy Broyles was presented with a new 2024 Ford F-150 XLT 4x4 Super Crew truck and said his win came at a great time as his current car has a number of problems needing repair. Broyles' winnings were celebrated at Common Sense Food Store in Shattered, where he purchased the ticket. Broyles said he usually sticks to lotto games, but something that day told him to get some scratch tickets, and one of the 10 he purchased came up a top winner. And one person was hospitalized following a midday collision Sunday in Scotts Bluff. Officers say they responded to a crash with injuries at the intersection of Avenue I and 20th Street. Investigation showed that a Range Rover, driven by 73-year-old Gerald Kiltow of Gehring, was southbound on Avenue I, while a Chevy pickup was eastbound on 20th Street, driven by 70-year-old Robin Hubbard of Morrill, when the two vehicles crashed in the intersection. A passenger in the Range Rover, 72-year-old Gene Kiltow of Gehring, was transported by ambulance to Regional West. Gerald Kiltow was issued a citation for a traffic light violation. To sum up the past 20 years in one word, exceptional. It's one of our core values, but our people, have been truly exceptional. Our customer support has been exceptional. In 20 years, where will Allo be? When we started, we were just a business fiber company. Then the demand came from residential. Now the products of both business and residential just continue to expand. We've got to start with customers' needs and always work backwards. The customers will tell us and our teammates will take us there. Are you looking for the perfect place to hold a wedding, family reunion, holiday office party, or business meeting? Well, look no further. The Hampton Inn and Suites Hotel and Conference Center is just the place for you. We're a full service banquet facility that can host up to 400 of your guests. Stop in and see our spacious open concept meeting rooms and begin planning your special event or family gathering today. Let us do the work for you so you can enjoy your guests. For personal service, stop by the Hampton Inn and Suites front desk. Pet waste and water don't mix. Animal waste decomposes in water, releasing nutrients, which deplete the oxygen fish and other life need to survive and encourage harmful algae growth. Animal waste also has disease-carrying bacteria, making contaminated water unusable. It's easy to prevent pet waste pollution. Simply pick up your pet's waste and dispose of it in a trash can and avoid letting your pets defecate within 200 feet of our community's waterways. Tri-City Stormwater reminds you it's our water, our responsibility. Now the latest from the Scotts Bluff Body and Paint Sports Desk. Scotts Bluff Body and Paint, you're driving home our reputation. Time for an all-star recap, plus back to Legion Baseball as the early summer local sports scene rolls on. We start with the 46th annual West Nebraska All-Star football game, which was held this past Saturday at Bearcat Stadium in Scotts Bluff. The East winning it 17-14. You saw Shadron's Brock Berry hitting Jaden Curtis of Ogallala with a touchdown pass for that first West score coming in the first quarter. Broken Bow's Eli Koble's field goal had the East up at halftime 10-7. It was Chase County's Cooper Dillon with a touchdown run of 11 yards to give the West their first lead of the game. That was in the third quarter, but the East team able to answer back immediately on the ensuing kickoff. Brett Fraker of McCook, a kickoff return of about 75 yards for the touchdown, eluding a would-be tackler along the sideline, able to stay in bounds and 
They go in front to stay the final points of the game right there late in that third quarter. The West did have some opportunities in the fourth quarter, but a fumble, interception, and then they were stopped on downs inside the five-yard line, and it's the East prevailing with their fifth straight win in the series. The offensive MVP was Barry from Shadron. The defensive MVP was Rhett McFadden of Sandhill Stedford. We then shifted scenes to WNCC's Cougar Palace for the 40th edition of the Volleyball Showcase game. And honestly, the West looking like one of the better all-star units we've seen in this event of late. They won it four cents to one. Marley Irvin of Ogallala won West MVP, but there were also standout performances from Baird's Danica Hassel, Jalen Clark of Alliance, Ella Foote from Scotts Bluff, and Gehring's Alex Gonzalez Orozco, excellent defensively as the libero. The East MVP award went to Sumner Eddyville Miller's Micah O'Neill. Big thanks to Trayton Harmon capturing the video highlights from both games. Another great week for West Nebraska All-Star football and volleyball is in the books for this year. Legion Baseball on tap with three midweek broadcasts coming up here this week. Tomorrow we're going to have Gehring hosting Sydney. Gehring went 1-4 and four at the Rapid City Tournament over the weekend. The West Coast Zephyrs also 1-4 and four at that same tourney in Rapid. They'll be on the road tomorrow at Alliance and then on Wednesday, it'll be the Zephyrs at Platte Valley Companies, that one on KMOR on Wednesday night. For the Western Nebraska Pioneers, they're now 5-0 after a couple of wins over the Fort Collins Foxes Friday and Saturday. They'll get their second straight off day today, no action tonight, before heading on the road to play the Foxes tomorrow and Wednesday there in Fort Collins. And then they'll be home for action this weekend against the Game Day Angels. That is the latest today from the Scotts Bluff Body and Paint Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell. High Plains Auto Club presents the 25th Annual Rock and Roll Father's Day Classic Friday, June 14th. Registration begins at 2 p.m. at the Gearing Civic Center. Welcome barbecue, cruise for cash, ice cream social. Saturday, June 15th, parade downtown Gearing at 9 a.m. Show and shine at Five Rocks from 10 to 4 and awards banquet. To enter, go to highplainsautoclub.com or call 641-4849. This event is sponsored by Next Level Restoration, Gearing Civic Center, Rural Radio, Take a look at your community calendar brought to you by Riverstone Bank. Community Calendar is brought to you by Riverstone Bank. We're local and we love our community. 
Fly United Airlines operated by SkyWest with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. United is dedicated to going the extra mile for you with daily flights to and from Denver along with a commitment to excellent service. Reserve your flight today and remember United miles can be earned and redeemed with your flights. While at the airport, stop and enjoy authentic Italian food at Roma Italian Restaurant. Plus, Hertz Thrifty Car Rental is there for your car rental needs. Make life easier, relax, and get on board with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. Tired of feeling stuck? Not sure if you are on the right track? Platte Valley Bank can help keep your finances moving forward with checking account options to fit your lifestyle and an online account chooser to make finding the right account easy. Control your financial future with helpful budgeting tools and automatic savings plans. Now is the time to enjoy the ride with Platte Valley Bank. You belong here. And finally tonight, the annual Rural Radio Network drive through Barbecue for Camp Scott was held this past Friday, and a drive through lunch was served up with a hamburger or beef hot dog, chips, runs a cookie, and a drink for only a $5 donation. A grand total of just over $1,400 was made during the two-hour event to help with the expenses for Camp Scott. Camp Scott Director Rini Berry tells KDB News these donations will help offset their day-to-day -day expenses. We have a lot of operating things that the money will go for, but and it's all for the campers. We have 40 this year and they were so excited and to be back at camp and they're such great kids. So thank you very much. We also have generous area businesses and organizations that help support the annual barbecue, either by donating supplies or help or supporting going through the drive through with their employees. Well, that is it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. We'll see you here next time.